Hi, I'm Suzanne Sizemore and I'm the nursery coordinator at Central Church. I oversee the babies, the crawlers, and the walkers in the nursery on Sunday mornings. And I have with me here today some of the volunteers that help with us in the nursery on Sundays. We have Carmen Eccles, she works with the babies. We have Debbie Johnson, she works with the babies. We have Marcia Crater who works with the crawlers. And we have Susan Smith who's going to be joining us this year when we all come back together. And since we aren't able to come together right now for the time being, I thought it would be nice to share with you some ideas on how you can have devotional time with your toddler aged children at home. I think it's really wonderful when children catch you having devotional time with the Lord. It's important for them to see you with your Bible open in your lap. Perhaps they'll come upon you while you're praying and then you can invite them to sit down beside you. Now, maybe they'll participate in the prayer and maybe they won't, but that's okay because they've seen you talking to God. They sense your dependence on him and your thankfulness to him. That's how God becomes very real to them. Moses said in Deuteronomy 6, 6 and 7, These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. So you can see that God's word should be ever present in every part of your daily routine. So with that in mind, a daily, routine, a daily devotion is a great way to share God's word with your toddler. Here are five tips for establishing devotion time with your toddler. Tip number one, find a time that works. Start with one small thing, like reading a short story or a prayer. Number two, read something simple. Two and three-year-olds have a teacher span of two to three minutes. Their vocabulary is limited to 200 to 1,500 words. It's important to keep your routine short, like me. <laughs> Tip number three, talk to God. Bow your head, close your eyes, tell your kids to fold their hands. Then make it something quick and memorable. Remember their short attention span. Tip number four, use music for memory. Kids memorize great truth simply because they sing it regularly. Put the music in your car so you can sing along with them. Tip number five, give your kids your full attention. Your devotional routine isn't just a time for you to impart information to your kids. It's time for them to spend time with you. It's through the attentive presence of loving parents that God, that kids learn about loving, that kids learn about our loving father. Now, to end this little thing here, we're gonna sing you a song and it's gonna be for the toddlers and we think it's gonna be a simple song that they can learn along with us. So we'll get some singing and we're gonna do some hand motions and you can follow along. You ready? Jesus loves, Jesus loves me, me, me. It's written in the Bible, you see, see, see. For the Bible tells me so. I know, I know, I know. Jesus loves, Jesus loves me, me, me. Oh, you say you want to, you want to hear it one more time? Okay. Ready, girls? Mm -hmm. Jesus loves, Jesus loves me, me, me. It's written in the Bible, you see, see, see. For the Bible tells me so. I know, I know, I know. Jesus loves, Jesus loves me, 